What's up, you guys? It's FeedyX. Today, we are looking at Steve Fox, known normally as one of the harder characters to play. I want to try and see if I can demonstrate a solid Steve style that is really easy to pick up, and it's actually really good for your development as a player. So, the very first thing we're going to do on Steve, we're not on a walled stage. So this is going to be a bit harder because Steve benefits a lot from having the wall, but we can still try to apply these concepts. The first thing we're going to do is just move around. And the reason why this is so scary is because Steve's highest reward tools come out of his counter hit buttons. So if you're doing anything else besides those, he's not as scary, inherently. So I'm going to move around a bit and try and see if my opponent attacks on any timings I can understand. I'm going to keep playing defense, of course. But if he gets a little obvious at any point, I'm going to throw my counter hit button out. And it looks like we were able to pull it off there with the down 4-2. No wall pressure. But same plan. And just moving around isn't just backdashing. You can move forward. You can sidestep there. He did an unsafe move. Electric clips me out of my forward movement. Nice. Okay. And Kazuya employing a nice counter to the back one there. CD, one plus, CD 3 plus 4 is a natural high crush going underneath back one and one two one. There he plays a hell sweep from long range. And then he does an unsafe string. So what does this tell me? I can move around, I'll be fine, just can't eat electric. He might do a hell sweep to end the game. But also, I'm gonna try to down forward two instead of back one. Because if he's looking to do that crouch dash move, my uh, high counter hits are useless. So I'm gonna play these down forward twos, and then just block punish. And it seems like blocking and whiff punishing is doing the job for me. Back one catching him there. Big benefit to Steve, sometimes you can just throw it out. You don't have to know if it's going to hit for sure. But that's uh, not the best advice all the time. Nice whiff punish. Um, with Steve, I got an analogy from someone that was absolutely amazing. Steve's counter hits are kind of like horror movies and jump scares. The more you use them, the more you show them, the less scary they are. So Steve's movement is nice to show because it's very non-committal. He has really, really good movement for a base roster character. So as long as you're hitting your defensive uh, reads and your block punishes, the counter hits are honestly so, so, so scary. Because look at how much work he has to do to try to get this health back before the time runs out. And he has to do it without whiffing, without doing an unsafe string, and without running into a counter hit. And that's kind of a lot. And the health sweep is getting a little obvious because... I think 30 seconds, 20 seconds went by without me taking any damage. You wanna try me, Gov? Steve is really, really fun for developing better defense, better awareness. Um, the the trade-off is he's not really working on developing attack timings, okay? But you can see I put down number three here. If they do nothing, if the opponent really decides to chill out, your answers are while running two, peekaboo down one. You have a few other options, like down forward one is obviously really strong, having really nice tracking. But this opponent isn't really showing me that right now, so I'm gonna keep doing my game plan until he shows that he's willing to play like the whole clock. But yes, not hitting back one on every timing available, not hitting down forward two on every timing available, doing this little pause before you attack, really, really strong. Because your opponent might get comfortable enough to do something a little reckless, a little too offensive. Right? Such as that. And as long as you're punishing the blocks, low parrying the strings, ducking the highs, and punishing the whiffs, Steve is absolutely deadly with no super high execution required. You don't need to nail down any offense. This combo is probably the only thing that will take a quite a bit of practice, but once you've learned it the first time, it gets a lot easier. Let me know if you guys would like to see a tutorial of that. Uh, I'll try to put it in at some point. But uh, And let me know in the comments if you're enjoying this kind of content. Leave a like. Subscribing would also be really, really cool. Let's call this a first to two. If I can beat him twice in a row, this will have been a success. But you see how he's kind of slowing down? Aside from that whiff, he's really chilled out. And that's really, really good. That is less good. Tried to whiff punish the electric. I was a bit slow. But here, I'm not really sweating. Look at how much time I have. This is so hard for him, man. Nice duck. But I bet a hell sweep is going to come soon. Yep. <laughs> That's the problem. If you hell sweep only at the end of the round when you need it, it gets a little obvious. Immediate back one. Nope. 
Now he's still playing a lot of the game, so I'm not going to get to this layer 3 just yet, but I'm going to take a wild guess that if you're in a lower rank, not many players are going to just backdash and do nothing, right? You'll probably be doing mostly defending. Now, look at this. He's really slowed down. This is really good. Play some forward movement. Nothing. Nice. So now it's time for me to generate a lead, right? Okay, well, he whiffed. If he didn't whiff there, let's pretend he didn't whiff. Wow, that was a really lucky block. Uh, let's pretend he didn't whiff. I'm going to... Oh. <laughs> I tried to do a running too. And let this be a lesson. If you try to do too much at the wrong time with Steve, you can just die for no reason. So I'm going to try... I'm going to try running too. You know, a little forward movement. Play my offense. And that's just to get him to interact again. So if you're in a position where your opponent is really chilling out, the purpose of these moves isn't to kill them, it's to get them to interact again. And once they're interacting again, and you're not a scrub, <laughs> mashing, uh, you'll ideally find a counter hit. My down forward 2 got sniped out by his forward forward 3. Very, very nice timing. Let's try it again. So, in the event that the opponent is playing the game like this guy is, you can just skip that step. Of the running, th running two, peekaboo down one. Don't even bother doing it. Just chill out, play the clock. Now I have a bit of a life deficit, so I might need to make something happen. But as you can see, he did something unsafe again. Right as I'm about to kind of initiate aggression or kind of a game plan, he unfortunately is doing unsafe moves on block. He's whiffing like that. Or he's getting counter hit. But the worst thing you could do on Steve is really rush it. If I'm going in and doing this back one all the time, it's really easy to avoid. Because you can tell when it's coming. Right? He can snipe me with a move like that. Oh, wow. I guess it worked. <laughs> we'll play another just for a good measure. But Steve can be too predictable if you are always mashing the counter hit button. And once you do that, you lose all of your advantage. All the pressure is gone. All of the threat is gone. Your opponent gets to play the game again. So, like a jump scare in a movie, Save it for when you really, really want it to hit. Let them forget about it. Let them get comfortable, right? And unfortunately, this guy is a little too comfortable. He's moving around a lot. He's trying to initiate a lot of offense, which is really, really hard against Steve. Against Steve, playing the life lead, especially on infinite, is really important. He needs to be using a lot of down back three as Kazuya to get underneath, or it might just be down three. That move. He needs to use that to get under the back one and the one, two, one. One, two, one being an insane counter hitting move. You see a counter hit his hell sweep there? Look at all the damage that does! 1-2-1 one, one is a ridiculous move for when you don't have a solid back one timing on lock. 1-2-1 one, one you can kind of just do. The counterplay is almost non-existent. Right, you see he did the down four there, that's one good option. The down one plus two, another, another good option. Another, another. Unsafe string. I'm gonna play down four two. I had some frame advantage and he tended to prefer the high crush moves, right? I'm trying to duck an electric here. Don't really have to as Steve, but it's nice practice on other characters. If you can whiff, punish, and electric. Probably hard to do on PlayStation where there's a bit more lag. Probably hard to do on Wi-Fi connections, but not impossible. Now you notice that there's 20 seconds left. I'm running a bit low on time, but I'm not desperate to make anything happen. The worst thing I can do is run into an electric. Nice. I thought he was going to hell sweep me. And then I thought he was going to go low. He kept it solid and went mid. Very well played. Very well played. So what this tells me is if he's chilling out with the lead, I can play that while running two game a bit sooner. This peekaboo down one. And my down forward one. Nice, his back, his electric timing beat my back one. That was really good. But he's still playing a lot, right? So if I can just land these whiff punishes, here we go. We can set up more counter hits. Because he'll get a bit more desperate as the clock ticks and his HP is still behind mine. Okay, wave dashing in. Very nice choices. Block punish. Play some 1-2-1. One, one. Oh, messed up that combo. I didn't expect it to float him like that. Playing 1-2-1 one, one is the very, very safe choice. Much harder to whiff punish than a back one. And three frames faster actually adds a lot. It is, it is a very important difference. It's not negligible. Not the best whiff punish there. <laughs> I'm messing up my whip punishes, but you guys can kind of see the concept, right? The big fundamental idea of Steve is that in order to not get counter hit, they have to swing really early. And that entails whiffing. If you're too early and I didn't move forward, you whiff. If you don't want to whiff, you have to dash forward. And dashing forward costs time. And if you give me too much time, I will counter hit you. Nice health sweep. Is he going to do it again? Nope, he whiffed. 
I whiffed. <laughs> Just can't get hit by electric here, and I'm honestly chilling. Electric or rage drive will be the death of me. Okay. And the time is going to run out. I missed a whiff punish again, but... 1-2-1. One, one. Bit of Steve gameplay for you. Hope you enjoyed that. Maybe you guys can try that out. Let me know if it works for you guys. Let me know in the comments. Um, I'll keep trying to do videos like these. Unfortunately, I'm not an expert in a lot of characters. I am a Noctis player, but... The characters that I am able to play, I will try to demonstrate for you guys and make more videos like this. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.